Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Rinku Talks, and recently I became a partner for Black Desert on Xbox. In this video, we're going to look at some highlights from a beginner Q&A partner stream, as well as attend a parade with the GMs. I hope you enjoy. So the first thing we're going to go over is combat, and a lot of people that play this game focus on one class, and if you want to get good at killing things, whether it's monsters or at like real people, you'll have to really learn about your individual class. So in Xbox, I'm going to be learning about the witch class, and in pre-awakening, as she screams in, in, in terror, uh, it's almost actually identical to wizard, but when awakening comes out, it's going to be completely different. So but yeah, combat wise, um, I highly recommend if, if you're like, if you picked a class and you know what you want to focus on, to meet people that are experts on that class. So. For example, if you want to play Dark Knight, uh, that would be the one class I do know. I know almost every single animation cancel possible on Dark Knight. As well as some new ones that- there's a new Dark Knight Discord that just came out that actually taught me some things, so. Uh, I believe all the storyline quests will have the Black Spirit symbol, but they'll, it'll also be like the top quest of your quest log on the right. So, if you're ever doing quests and uh, you're trying to figure out what to do, it's always the top one. And if you go to quests and you click uh, right bumper to main, I've already done them all on this character, but they'll all be right there. So basically, you really want to do the main quest line because it is extremely, extremely beneficial. Uh, especially on the Xbox version versus the PC version, because one, if you do the quest line, the main quest line, A, it'll take you to 50 and beyond. B, after you complete, uh, complete it and hit level 50, you can do daily boss scrolls. C, uh, after that you get a one time, I think it's once per family, not too sure, but you get more quests beyond the technical main storyline quest like, that gives tons and tons of black stones. Uh, D and E, like, you get contribution points and skill points. There's, like, actually no reason to, do, not, to not do the main storyline quest, at least once. Uh, you should really, really do it on at least one character. Uh, how does acquiring ar armor work? Uh, but yeah, the main storyline quest actually gives you a weapon, an offhand, uh, like, every slot of armor. Not so much accessories, but they do give you some. They give you a really good necklace and earrings. Um, I wish I had my full uh, quest set on, but I used it for the first two days, I'd say. And then finally, I, I, when I had enough black stones that made my armor and weapons stronger, uh, I, I got that. So, yeah, I would definitely go through quests and get the armor. Um, because the quest gear is actually better than this stuff when it's not enhanced. So you can see I have plus 15 weapons that aren't quest items, they're green. Uh, sometimes green is better than blue when you enhance it, and some of the best gear in this game... Uh, you have to enhance so most likely uh, There is gear like there's always gonna be gear That's better than the quest gear that you can enhance, but it's not better if you don't enhance it So you have to understand how to like enhance gear upgrade it before it actually becomes useful So you can definitely go all the way to level 50 through the quest line without enhancing any gear at all And it will teach you not only how to enhance but uh, it will give you free gear to start your, your journey with so From that point on once you hit like 50 you complete the quest line I would then highly recommend like looking into gear and whether it's Heave or Agarian, they're both like great sets to start with now. In the future it'll probably be Grunnel, and then after that boss gear, so. The one thing to keep in mind is ring menu settings. So even though you have all the default settings, there are some things that aren't in there by default. So I was showing earlier if you want to show my gardens, if you want to like quick access to your, your farming gardens. Or some other things in here that aren't on your default menu, it's actually a good idea to look through this. So you can actually zoom in your camera. Uh, what you can do, you can see on the screen, I'm holding the right stick in, and I'm going to let go. And now when I move my right stick, it zooms in or out. So, a lot of people on PC zoom out as far as they can. On PC it's a setting, uh, but on Xbox you have to do it with your stick. And it's actually really important sometimes for PvP to be able to see what's around you. Um, but you can change that. I think sometimes it puts it back to default view so you can just zoom out again whenever you want. Um, but yeah, oh, so we need to be in arena. You can duel anyone anywhere, but the arena flags you for uh, combat immediately. So if, if you were right here, like if you are right in front of me, um, I'm not sure if it's in Xbox yet, but you, I think you should be able to just walk to someone, interact with them, and click duel. Uh, and they have to accept it. So if they click yes, I want to duel you, then you guys are flagged for a duel and you guys will, you guys can, uh, hit each other and deal damage to each other until someone kills the other person. Um, if you go into, and if you go into an arena, which there's one over here near Valia, if we went to the Valia arena, I won't go all the way over there, but if you walked in, you would be immediately read to everyone else in the arena. Uh, battle arena is the same way, but battle arena is nicer because you can teleport to battle arena every, anywhere in the, the world, basically. So if you want to PvP, but you're across the world, 
you can actually um, go to Battle Arena in the future. It's not in the Xbox yet, but hopefully it'll be in soon. And then Are uh, Arsha Arena is just icing on the cake. That's where you can like actually organize real tournament setting uh, duels, 3v3s, 2v2s, stuff like that. How do you interact with someone? I'm not too sure. There's no one right here. Love Trigger? Yep, that's it. So you can hit Y for party invite. Can you join friends that's doing a tutorial or no? Um, I think the tutorial, the technical tutorial, is only like three quests long, so... If you mean like the, the main quest line, the, the 1 through 50 quest line, you can definitely join a party and, and do it together. But once you get out there and you kill your first imp, you can you can join a party and do it together for sure. Uh, we did that in the beta and... I guess for launch we kind of just did quests on our own, but then we grinded together in a party and hit level 50 together, so... That's something you can do as well. But yeah, so camera settings... It's weird that, like, it's not really explained anywhere, but yeah, being able to move in and out, and, uh, zoom in and out, and then also, also, like, uh, turning on, oops, turning on photo mode. See, there we go. That looks nice, doesn't it? That's, like, see, this is what I need to do for, like, YouTube videos and stuff. You, I, I, I didn't even know you could go to photo mode until I looked through the settings, but that looks, that looks really good. That is a, a good screenshot of my wizard at nighttime. So there's two main websites that you want to look at for this game. BDO Codex is like the database for everything technical, every item in the game, every quest in the game, every piece of knowledge in the game is documented on there. And something lovely is like a world map with calculators and other things as well. But yeah, that's it. Let's go explore uh, over here and we're gonna join the parade apparently. Uh, I think we have to switch channels, right? the line? Oh, there is Sherna. He is fucking in there. <laughs> Look at the amount of people. I mean, there's just so many people. Wow, holy shit. This is actually hilarious. So yeah, this is a DDR on, on BDO. I mean, it really does have it all. It's moments like these that, you know, I'm probably never going to forget. Just sitting here, my my first BDO partner stream with, on the beach with Sherna and the whole gang releasing pink floaty things. But I'll let you guys look at this beautiful sight. I mean, I can't, I can't really say much more about it other than that this is like... This is a good time for Black Desert, so... I am... I'm on stream, hello, Reed Goo. <laughs> Wait, why are you blue? <laughs> Wait, why are you blue? released so many years ago. This guy's got gold chewed at armor. This guy's pimp, dude. He's pimped out, dude. He's killing it with the war paint. Like, look at this guy. Yeah, we're we're checking we're we're checking people's fashion right now. I mean you're pretty cool with the sky blue, GM Calfion. Uh we got the, the pimp and, and gold shootout. We got the other GM that's default. We're gonna do a fashion call. Oh my god! Is the oh my gosh, dude! This brings like so many memories. The worms, dude. The worms of Valia. This I did this on a stream like two, two, three years ago. There was someone just crawling on the beach of Valia, and like everyone followed him. I went from Valia to Aphiria, doing the worm. How do you even do the worm? You hit A. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? I was so glad I decided to like come down here and, and party with the whales. You like my outfit? There's a fucking lot of outfits. Okay, 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 hold on. Everyone that wants to do an outfit contest, come over here and we're all gonna line up, alright? I'm gonna- I don't- I can't match names from Twitch or whatever. Everyone buy this wagon. 
Oh, right over. There's no one over here, right? So I mean, I can see the whale from here. We have we have fish girls. We have Joker giants. We have maids with pink pink outfits. Are we doing a contest? Um. I mean, we yeah, we could try. What do you guys want to do? A top three, just like the top. The per I mean, I don't I don't have anything to give you guys. I could just say what my favorite is. I mean, a lot of people like don't have their their stuff dyed. So if it's like just default. Unless it's like shoe dad default, like I don't know. Usually it's like better to have some kind of color. Uh, purple from Saints Row. Yeah, that does look like very cool. Um, I'm the Berserker man, Mr. Ty. Well, now there's another Berserker. I'm assuming you're like the Joker Berserker. Do you have an outfit on, or is that just like your armor, like? Can we go by face look? Fish girl <laughs> by face look? So you, you so like presets wise. So we have this. Best girl. Uh, we have the fish people. Oh, there we go. There we go. I like it. It's pretty good. Then we also have fish boy right here. Laughing as I like try to look at him. Um. Um, alright, there's not much to, like, contest here. Who's this? I think the blue outfit is probably really cool. Like, it's it stands out the most. Uh, but just the simple purple of this. There we go. Almost, there we go. That's pretty good. I don't know, like, this is, this is pretty top tier. Grim Raperus probably has like the cleanest look. Like, I, I have to say this is like my favorite. But I think the fish, the fish costume with the the face as well is like, is up there. Like it's it's there. And then third I would say is probably the blue girl wherever she went. But her armor was like broken. We had this blue and orange girl too. I'm Sork. Look at my face. There's so many. There's like a lot of Sorks. Is this you? I don't know. The, the one that strikes the most fear into my heart is this crazy berserker, yes. The gigantic fucking joker berserker that lifts the balloon into the sky. <laughs> That's a cool, I mean, you got the witch going on. The orange dagger. That makeup, oh my gosh. Are we gonna do future, like, beauty contest? But yeah, Black Desert fashion.